I did it one time. Yeah, I got a recent picture of her. Yeah, my first time. She looked just like your mom. Yeah. I see my mother on FaceTime. I see my FaceTime. You look just like her. Yeah. I always go see your mother. <laughs> Amen. Grace. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. And peace be unto you from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We have come into this house to learn the Lord's name, to worship Him. We have come into this house to gather his name to worship him. We have come into this house to gather his name to worship Christ.
do responsibly the Old Testament, Psalms 121, verses 128. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Psalms. Psalms. 121, 1 through 8. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Oh. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by right. day, nor the moon by night. night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall present, he shall preserve. Together, the Lord, the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. From his forth and even forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. At this time, anyone would like to sing a song or give a praise report? Yes. But at this time. I want to sing a song.
Everybody is somebody in Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, let me try to get this out of the way. And see all your prayer requests is to the email. Amen. Which is Royal Generation Worldwide at gmail.com. Between 24 hours, I'll respond back to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Appreciate all your social media support. Amen. Financial support. We honor those leaders of our this ministry. Amen. Those are in Brooklyn, Jersey. We honor them. Georgia, North Carolina. We honor everybody. Amen. We honor our leaders and uh, we honor everybody. We honor Bishop Dillon. Amen. First and third Sunday. Amen. My Calvary Church of Deliverance. The same location here, which is 112 06 Barnes Boulevard. St. Albans, New York, at 2 p.m. First Sunday is Holy Communion. First Saturday is Holy Communion. And then we ask those that are available. Some of you have other obligations, other engagements. With the permission from your leader. You know how we're doing this. You know how we do this here. With the permission from your leader. And then those that are independent ministry, they'll be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. So if you are available, first and third Sunday, we would love to have you come, come and fellowship with Mount Calvary Church of the Livers Incorporated. And then we're talking to the young people. Amen. To any leader that's here, please come and support. Amen. All our broadcasts and programs will be done on YouTube and Facebook. Elder Gilmore is in charge of that service at 2 p.m. on first and third Sundays, along with Apostle Burns and myself, and the congregation, and angels of God. And then, um, they should get everything out of the way. And maybe that's about it, I think. Amen. Oh, conference code information is 978 990 Asset code is 442086 pound sign. Facebook is Royal Churches. Bishop Lamont Robson, Pernod Bellers, World Generation, Body Christ Believers International, Incorporated, Facebook, amen. Uh, Saturday, 11 a.m., the Bible study, amen. 12.30, is worship service, amen. Amen. If you want to give us a call, holler, God bless you. If you've been up a call, holler at us at, amen, at 312-312-0293. 914-512-8581. Snapchat and Instagram. Amen. Announcements. If you've already been done already. Amen. We appreciate all your support. And we made the missions here. Our mission is reaching the loss at any cost. And equipping and shifting the, the believer for the abundant life of victory and service. Amen. Again, we appreciate all your support. We're going to ask. Elder, if you don't mind, read James. Amen. Amen, if you don't mind. Responsibly read it. For those that have your Bible, First James, Amen, chapter 1, verse 1 through 8. God bless you. Okay. Um, James, St. James, one. And one through eight, New Testament. One, James was a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. No response. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations. Knowing this, that trying of your faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give to all men liberally, and upbraid him not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in vain, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with a wind and tossed. Together, 
For let not that, that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 We get to a good part in the Lord's house. It's the word of God. The word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You're going to be great, great. You're going to receive. Amen. Apostle. You're going to receive Apostle. Amen. Uh, Benoit Barons, which is the pastor Thank you, Jesus. of Solid Rock Gospel Assembly. Amen. Amen. Incorporated. Amen. Uh, also, the general mother of Royal Generation, Body Christ Believers International, Incorporated United States of America. Amen. And the prophet of God, the bishop in the Lord's Church. Amen. A doctor. Amen. And the woman of God that loved God's people. Amen. That they didn't receive the woman of God. Now, ask everybody around the world to please, 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 please do not change the chair. <laughs> do not change the chair. Don't flip that thing. Do not end that. Just stay right there. There's a word of God for you. And those outside Father's Boulevard, God bless you too. Yeah. Amen. We have eight some physical food. We have not as time for the real collard greens and, and ham hocks today. It was a spiritual food. Yeah. A spiritual food. That was the bad. Amen. 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 You have eight physical food. Tell me you will fill up. Amen. Not a time for some spiritual collard greens. Yeah. And for spiritual bread hocks. Yeah. And for my spirit. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on. That good bread, that spiritual bread. Amen. Amen. To feed your soul. Amen. Amen. So we're going to receive. Amen. We're going to receive her grace. And the apostle. And the birds. Amen. amen. With a hearty amen to stand amen. around the house of God. Yes. And receive the shepherd of God. Apostle. And the birds. Today, praise God. We give honor to God, Almighty God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Giving honor, Amen, to Apostle Robinson, a Bishop Dillon in his absence. I miss the Riggins, I know there Solomon, praise God. To so all the saints of God today, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Go to Acts the 9th chapter, 21st to the 27th verse. Acts the 9th chapter, 21st to the 27th verse. Amen. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, to speak to your vessel, Father God. Oh, God, anoint these words that are already anointed. And we ask, so oh God, that you inspire someone. Break every chain today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. Praise God. Acts 9, chapter 21 through 27. Praise God. But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is not he that destroyed them which called on the name of this name of Jerusalem and came hither for that intent that he might bring them down into the chief priests? But Saul increased the more in strength and confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus, proving that this is very Christ. And after that many days were fulfilled, the Jews took counsel to kill him. But their laying away was known of Saul, 
And they watched the gates day and night together. Then the disciples took him by night and led him down by the wall in a basket. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, he is saying to join himself to the disciples. But they were all afraid of him and believed not that he was a disciple. But Barnabas, hey, 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 hallelujah! But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared unto them how he had seen the Lord in the way and that he had spoken to him and how he had preached boldly, boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say, be a Barnabas. Be a Barnabas. Be an investor. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Praise God. Here we have Luke, a converted Gentile. Amen. Following, praise God, the book of Acts and writing, telling about, amen, the birth of the Christian church. And here he's telling about Paul. Telling us about Paul in Barnabas. Now, most Christians, even young children, if you mention Apostle Paul, they know who you're talking about. Praise God. The writer of 14 epistles, amen, letters to the church. But if you say something about Barnabas, they kind of, we, we scratch our head a little bit. Who is Barnabas? Praise God. We don't hear Barnabas the way we hear Paul. But the truth of the matter is, is Barnabas wasn't used by the Holy Spirit right, to open up a door to be a friend to Paul. Paul's ministry might have been hindered for a while. Praise the name of God. See, Barnabas put in a good word for Paul. I don't know if you believe it, but a good word does go very far. Praise God. The disciples were still afraid of this man who crucified, amen, and then put in jail, amen, with the overseer of deacon evangelist Stephen being killed, amen, they were still afraid of him. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. But Barnabas said, I can vouch for Paul. He's a changed man. He's a different man. Amen. And we thank God today. Amen. For Barnabas. Praise God. Because Paul went through some difficult times. Paul was rejected. Amen. Paul was lonely. All the anointing that Paul had inside of him. It didn't do any good. Why? Because some people didn't want to receive him. Praise God. Right. Amen. A lot of people were still looking at his pets. And that's what happens with a lot of us sometimes. They can't see the future because they're still looking in the past. All of that preaching and power he Amen. demonstrated at Damascus, people were still looking at his pets. Uh -huh. Glory be to God. Amen. People will be judgmental of you. Amen. And many times people cannot see the new you because they're still looking at your past. But I'm so glad Paul didn't let that stop him. Somebody say, I'm glad it didn't stop me. Praise the name of God. Praise God. Even after the disciples helped Paul escape down in a basket, we read in verse 26 when Paul numerous times tried to join them. But they didn't let him join him. Hallelujah to God. They repeatedly rejected him for a long time. This prolonged rejection. I don't know if you ever experienced rejection. Huh? Disappointment. Glory to God. Amen. But it's a terrible feeling. Yes. Praise God. You got to lift yourself up out of the mire. Praise God. They were saying you got to have the criteria to be an apostle. Praise God. You have to have walked in the flesh with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you would have to have seen and experienced the resurrection. Yes. But Barnabas was saying, wait a minute here. Right. Glory be to God. 
God. Glory be to God. This man had a personal encounter. See the difference when you have a personal encounter. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to God. Ananias was afraid to even pray for him. Glory be to God. But the Holy Spirit had to tell Ananias. And the matter to change back up. I'm going to use them to not just preach to the Jews, uh, yeah. oh, but to be a light uh, unto the Gentiles. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah to God. He had a personal encounter with Jesus. Jesus actually spoke to him. Glory be to God. The soldiers around him heard the voice. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah to God. Knocked him off his beats. Uh, glory told him it is hard uh, to yeah. kick against the prick. Uh, glory be to God. Yeah. Amen. And I'm telling you today, if you yield yourself to God, yeah. and if you say yes to the Lord, yeah. God will give you uh, a personal encounter. Yeah. Not with mama said. Not with granddaddy said. Yeah. Not with the preacher or with the apostle said. Yeah. But you have an unbearable personal encounter yeah. that cannot be broken. Yeah. That cannot be thrown away. Yeah. Because you have a personal relationship yeah. with Christ. Even when people reject you, uh, let go of your past, uh, you be able to stand. Why? Because you have a relationship. Amen. Yes. Barnabas had the spirit of love. He had the spirit of power and forgiveness. God gave him the spirit of discernment. Amen. That the disciples did not have. If anything, we should ask God, Lord, let me walk in the spirit of discernment. Yeah. Hallelujah. He didn't let the past of Paul, mm -hmm. amen, get into the future. Praise God. Yeah. He saw what they didn't see. Amen. He wanted to put time in with yeah. Paul. He wanted to invest in Paul. Why? Because he saw something in Paul. I'm Amen. so glad God looked beyond our fault. Uh, and he saw our need. He saw something in us. Amen. When no one else yeah. didn't want to have nothing to do with you. Wanted to talk to you. Oh, the loving Savior died for us. In generations to come, he died for your children and your grandchildren. He saw something in the future body of Christ that could not be shaken. The gates of hell couldn't prevail against it. Glory be to God. Amen. So we find this Joseph, whose name was Barnabas. He was a Levi from the Cyprus tribe. Praise God. From the Cyprus Levi tribe. Amen. And what he did was he sold his property. And he put it at the disciples' feet to give to the poor and to spread the gospel. We still need that thirst today. We still got to have that discernment that regardless of COVID, the church must go on. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it's not just the hallelujahs. Amen. We thank God for the praise, but it comes a time when God will speak to your heart to sow into the ministries of God with your time, with your service, and just with your finance. Somebody say amen. Amen. He was not an apostle. Barnabas was an apostle. But he supported the apostles, and because he did that, he became a great name in the church. Mm -hmm. This man was so friendly and generous. He earned the nickname Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. God from Zion. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. The name in Greek also means paracletos, which means the Holy Spirit. In John 14, 16, it tells us that the paracletos is our comforter. Amen. He's our counselor. Come on. Amen. Barnabas like Stephen, was full of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is what makes our lives different, saints. Amen. Glory be to God. When we are led 
Hallelujah. And live and allow in the Holy Spirit to live on the inside. This is what makes a difference. He was a man with a great heart. A man of God. Amen. A man of love who cared for the poor, the downcast. But most importantly, his treasures were in heaven. His treasures were in spiritual things, not in material things. I'm going to say that again. His treasures were in heaven and spiritual things, not in earthly things. If he was concerned about recognition, he would have sided with the apostles. But he saw something in Paul. Hallelujah. So much I'm so glad that God saw something in me. So in verse 23, we find that Barnabas actually risked his life to rescue Paul. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Amen. Why? Because he knew this man was going to be a great asset to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Barnabas invested in purity and so Just like the Holy Spirit invests in purity in you. Amen. To invest means to give attribution of money, time, service, or time for a purpose. And when you do that, you're expecting a return. People invest in the stock market. They invest in, save money in the bank. Invest. They sow with an expectation. God wants us to be a Barnabas. He wants us to be an investor. Praise God. There are people like Paul inside the church, outside the church. Some of them have been hurt. Some of them have a past. We all have a past. Some of them have been rejected, misunderstood, unforgiven, haven't spoken to members of their family in years, cast aside, call to the come. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because of something that was said in the everyday man. Mm-hmm. Amen. We can go on and on. Yeah. Praise God. But praise be to God of another chance. Amen. I don't like to say second chance. But he gave me more than a second Amen. chance. Amen. Praise God. Ah! Hallelujah! Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Time and time again. Amen. He needs a Barnabas. Yeah. A spiritual Barnabas. To hold your hand. When nobody else holds your hand. Yeah. Somebody you can cry on. Yeah. Somebody you can talk to and don't expect to put the phone down and start doubting somebody else. Speak down on somebody else. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Somebody you can vent to. Everybody needs somebody they can vent to every once oh, in a yeah. while. Somebody to be a listening ear. Yeah. Somebody to show the salvation. Somebody to say, don't give up. Mm-hmm. There's more hope. Christ having forgotten you. Uh, the best is yet to come. Come on here. Yeah. Somebody needs a man of us. Yeah. Oh, me to God. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hold your head up. I don't care how dark it looks. Oh, yeah. You are a child of the king. Huh? Yeah. You are royal priesthood. Huh? Yeah. You are chosen generation. Yeah. Huh? You are peculiar person. Huh? You are peculiar people. Huh? You are John Hill of Christ. Come on here. Yes. You are Somebody needs someone to speak life into them when they're at the end of their rope. Huh? When they want to throw up their hands. Huh? Somebody say, glory to God. Amen. Someone who stay on their bending knees praying to you, not giving up on you. Glory be to God. Realizing that you are a diamond in the rough. Paul was a diamond in the rough. Sometimes all a person needs is a little word of encouragement. Not a whole lot. Amen. Child, you can make it. God loves you. That word, it goes so far. It be like medicine to their bones. You speak life into people. You invest. Spend your time on the phone if you can't be with them in person. Read a scripture to them. Sing a song to them. Hold their hand. Hallelujah. God is looking for more Barnabas today. Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. They might not look the way you look. They might not smell so nice. Come on here, somebody. They might 
have cut on their arm. Come on here, somebody. Ah, glory be to God. Yes. They might be shooting cross on the, the bridge. Glory be to God. But God is saying, I'm seeing them in the spiritual realm. And that's what Barnabas did. Ask God to let you see a spiritual in the spiritual realm. That rebellious child. Let God see you in the spirit. Let them see you. Let you see them in the spiritual realm. Amen. I'm so glad God sees us in the spiritual realm. And not in the carnal realm. That man shooting drugs. He could be a pastor. He could be a politician. He could be somebody's father. God sees the potential and he sees the purpose in everybody's life. And he needs you and I to be like Barnabas. To speak the life of the word into them. To let them know the promises of God. The love of God. Hallelujah. How God can mold them and fashion them. If they yield and thirst after God. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Pour yourself into somebody else. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. We look at what has happened with the COVID situation. So many lives were taken from us. Praise God. It was contagious. You have something that needs to be contagious. Amen. You got the gospel in you. You got the bread of life in you. You got the essence of God inside of you. Movie, you know what you got? You are armed and very dangerous. Come on, here. demons tremble because of who you are in Christ. I didn't see in yourself. Amen. In your Stuff, you're nothing. But in God, we are mighty warriors through Him. Glory be to God. Amen. The name above every name that dies in you. All power is given unto you. And like Barnabas, God imputed into us righteousness. Amen. So we can be the vessels in this last day. Somebody say, Glory be to God. Glory Hallelujah be to, God. to God. God wants you to spread the gospel. Yes. He wants you to invest his word, pour it into someone who has lost the hope. If you know anything about a mechanic, a mechanic will tell you sometimes when the battery is dead, this car don't need to be thrown away, or this car needs it's a jump start. Amen. Ah, 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 ah. Yes. Glory be to God. Somebody, all they need is a jump start. Yes. Ah. And God Amen. is waiting Amen. on you to give it to them. Thank you. Praise Amen. God. Bless you. Blessing. Amen. Amen. All you need is a jump start. They've been wounded. They've been damaged. They all bent out of shape. Somebody crashed into them. Come on here, somebody. Glory be to God. Left them for dead. Left them just not hope out of Just not hope out of them. Come on here, somebody. Put them on a guilt trip. All they need is a little push. A little bonus. A little support. Amen. Somebody been neglected. Rejected. Praise God. Lied on. Oh, Jesus. 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 God wants you to be that bridge in their life. Some of you, if you just share your testimony, how your life is in a thousand pieces, but oh, King Jesus, yes. put every piece back together again. They say, wow, if God did that for you, he can do it for me. Yes. I said, they need a Barnabas. Yes. Where you weak, they may be strong. Where you strong, they may be weak. But if you can hold each other up in love and in yes. unity, as we spoke on today, God will transform them. And what's so beautiful about them being transformed is that once they transform, guess what? Then they'll become a part of it. <laughs> 
speak life. Death and life. Proverbs 18 21 tells us it's in the power of the tongue. Amen. Speak the word of God into your life and into other people's lives. And Jesus, and Jesus, and Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Be a Barnabas. Be an investor. Pour into somebody else's life. And God will reward you. Look at all the souls that were saved in Paul's ministry. Even today, we are still reading his word. Go on here. That the Holy Spirit inspired him to write. And the most beautiful part about it, Amen. most of his writings came out of prison. Amen. I don't know about stop that little cop. But he wasn't thinking about his oh, yeah. He was thinking about the church. Yes, he was. Which is you. Glory be to God. Living on the inside of you. Yes. I must pour out. Glory be to God. He was willing to die for Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he continuously poured out. Glory be to God. And I don't care what situation you are in. Don't stop pouring out into others. Five more ministry. I know it's been hard, especially since COVID. The enemy try to shut your mouth up and shut you down. Mm -hmm. Whatever capacity God gives you to work in, do it to the glory of God. Yes. Don't stop. We love you. Remember, keep pouring out. Amen. Be a part of this. Speak life into someone today. Invest in someone today. Yes. And I tell you, all those people, even in this generation, that was credited to Paul, it cannot be credited to Paul mm -hmm. unless Barnabas gets a part of that credit. Amen. It's like a pyramid. When you have a pyramid, you get this person in and that person in, and then that person get that person. But still, that person at the top gets credit. Whoever lives you touch in this world, their great grandchildren, God has a book of remembrance. Mm -hmm. And down there, it's going to be written down how you was a part of so and such life that reached to them. Whatever you do, you won't see all of what you've done for Christ on this side. Don't know we won't. But one day, God will show us in glory, praise God, the lives that you touch. Amen. Some of you, when you pass out tracks, you see the tracks on the ground. Amen. But you are touching somebody's life. Amen. Be encouraged today. Praise God. I say this about a friend that lived in the high-rise building. She used to pass tracks under the door. And years later, a young lady that lived in her floor, on her floor came to her and said, you don't remember my brother, no doubt, but he ran a track that you put on the door. And today he's a pastor because he gave his life to Christ after he you don't know the rewards God has for you, not just in the sweet by and by, but right here on earth when you walk in obedience. Stay blessed. We're going to close out with the scripture. If you stand, if you had by the Jew, you may be going to leave the grace and peace. Those are still out of the King James Version Bible. Amen. I leave the description. Amen. Amen. Do you enjoy the word of God? Do you enjoy it? Amen. Amen. Yes. Give God to clap your hands for the Lord. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise him. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and the Bible speak another. Jew, we're going to hold up the scripture. Amen. We're going to go in praise. This is Jude chapter, Jude chapter um, 1, verse 24 and 25. We're going to read it together. 
Amen. If you're going to dismiss in the presence of God, we'll see you all. The Lord willing, we'll see you all tomorrow at the same location. My Calvary Church of the Livers Incorporated. Amen. First Sunday at 2 p.m.